I think my advice would be to uh, keep an open mind, uh, to listen to the students. Uh, if at all possible, I think in order to be a good teacher, one has to be an informed teacher. We need to be informed about students' uh, concerns, expectations, the kinds of obstacles they face in learning. I would encourage a new teacher to, to make use of whatever feedback mechanisms that are available. Let's try and get to know the students that they're teaching. And of course the experience of teaching them will be a fantastic resource they can draw upon <laughs> in that regard as well. But uh, for a new teacher it would be very useful to make use of whatever instruments most institutions have them now um, to give you some insight into how students learn uh, or how you feel um, um, you, you, know, you, you can be effective in terms of taking on board what their comments are. I think that also a new teacher would be in a privileged position because he or she would be I guess, closer generationally to the students he or she is teaching. And this is an enormous advantage, actually. In many cases, we have uh, institutions where there are digital students and analog faculty, and there are some teachers who strongly resist uh, the use of any technology in the classroom. That, of course, makes the classroom <laughs> a pre-internet space, which is not a, a space which exists outside the classroom, <laughs> with a few exceptions, maybe operating theatres, aeroplanes. Uh, and we're not, um, in, in many cases, always training surgeons and pilots. So um, I, I think that uh, those new teachers, I would encourage them to reflect back on their own experiences as learners and consider how they could remake teaching in a way which would be effective uh, to the youth of today, because uh, they will be closer to them in terms of their um, perceptions and uh, concerns.